Ladies and gentlemen, today I would like to bring you on the most intriguing journey through the days of yore, back to the year 2011, when a game known as The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim would be released, and the world would be left in a state of shock and everlasting wonder. And, um... That's all I got for you. Uh, we're playing Skyrim. I haven't played this game in a very long time. But as uh, like many of you, I have put hundreds, if not thousands of hours into this fucking game when I was younger. Back, you know, kind of more towards when it came out. I played the fuck out of this game through sort of the, um, the later years of my childhood, if you will. I'm, I'm 23 now, just, you know, for reference. Um, this game came out in 2011. I'm not very good at math. Uh, none of this shit matters. Uh, we're gonna play some Skyrim. Um, I did already sort of jump in because I wanted to test out some mods that I was gonna use. Um, the only two mods that we're using for this playthrough, just two, um, we're using the 60 frames per second mod, which works like an absolute dream. It makes this game feel like fresh, smooth, buttery delicious juicy burgers on a buttery bun it feels amazing uh, but the other mod that we're using is just a very very slight uh, visual graphics enhancement mod that sort of um, makes the textures a little bit more sharp and um, does uh, something else that makes the game prettier I don't know I'm not a goddamn graphic scientist I'm just here to make the fucker play and make it fun, okay? So, we're gonna jump into some, uh, some Skyrim. Without any further ado, here we go, baby. Not gonna spend a whole lot of time on the character creator. Um, I feel like there's something else I wanted to mention that I haven't mentioned. Um, oh yes, this is going to be a very long playthrough, because I'm gonna do, uh, side quests and shit. I might join some factions, I don't know. We'll we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Todd Howard presents The Elder Scrolls V. <laughs> no one's ever made that joke. Not even really a joke, it's just sort of a uh, a humorous observation, I suppose. <laughs> Roman numerals. Funny. Anyone gonna start talking? This has been a really quiet ride. Hey, you oh, finally. Finally awake. Yes. You were trying to cross the border, right? Walked right into that imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Yep. Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. If they hadn't been looking for you, you could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. Empire was nice and lazy. We shouldn't be. What is this, Saudi Arabia? Stormcloaks. The Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in vines now, thief. Shuts up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the Rebellion. But if they've captured you... Oh, gods. Where are they taking us? I don't know where... Probably we're... not Legoland. The Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey, what village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be of home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. The <laughs> boring. <clears throat> Rorikstead actually really Let's does suck. Fun fact. Sure. Mara, Dibella, Kinnereth, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. Oh, your Scientology won't save you now, buddy. If you throw Tom Cruise's name in there with the rest of them. General Tully is the military governor. Ooh, where? Where, where, where? I've always wanted to meet him. With him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this.
I don't know how the elves would have had anything to do with this, but alright, it's a beautiful day to be killed. You got a nice uh, mountain view. Be sweet on a girl from here. Wonder if Vlod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Vlod is not a very when feminine a name. Boy, okay. We sure Vlod was a woman? Towers used to make me feel so safe. Now all I have are my bulging muscles to make me feel safe. There's a child who wants to watch us get executed. To be honest, I don't see anything wrong with that. Let's introduce this child to capital punishment as early as we can. Why do you think? Holy shit, there, that that lady's got some fucked up animation. Did you see that? She was like epilepsying her way over here. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. All right, Rayloff. Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them we worked with you. This is a mistake. Why are they killing him just for stealing a horse? One at a time. Like I said, this really is Saudi Arabia, isn't it? Damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Yarl of Windhelm. It has hmm. been an honor. You're up, guy who looks like he hasn't showered in ten years. Rayloff of Riverwood. You're up, Thor, son of Odin, wherever he there he is. Lokir of Rorikstad. You're up, no, guy who's being Rorik. wrongfully punished. And now he's making a break for it. Halt. Bye. Else feel like running? Wait, you there. Step forward. Hi. Who are you? That's a good question, sir. Who am I? <laughs> what am I? <laughs> uh, but for real, um, I don't know what race I want to be. Uh, I think I'm probably going to... Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. Alright, it starts here. Like I said, I'm not going to spend too much time on the character creator. Um, we're just going to go with a, a bit of a simple lizard man. Just a bit of a, a, bit of a simple lizard man here. An Argonian, if you will. He's going to be our hero. Um, but he's not going to be just any Argonian, you know? He's going to... He's going to be especially lizard-like. And the reason for that will be clear... When I'm done creating the character. But for now... Let's see, that looks good. Um, brow type. Ooh, should we give him some cool spiky eyebrows? That's pretty fucking sweet, dude. Um, let's do it. Yes. Brow height. I don't give a flying fadoodle. Mouth shape. Uh, the most lizard looking mouth I can get. Sure. That's all I care about. And some cool spiky lizard hair. Oh, horns. Uh, that doesn't really fit the theme of the character that I'm going with here. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna spoil the surprise now. I'm just we're we're gonna name him Mark Zuckerberg, and that's it. That's all. That's all. Mark Zuckerberg, our hero. He has been transported to the realm of Skyrim, where he has taken on his true form. So now I have to name this jerk. I'm just gonna name him Mark for the sake of time. There. Are you a relative of one of the Rift and Dock workers, Agonian? That's Captain, super racist, motherfucker. He's not it's on like the asking the nearest Mexican, the "Hey, you related to one of my maintenance workers?" By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. We'll make sure you remain so return to Black Marsh. That's very Follow reassuring. Captain, All right, we'll do. Give me the grand tour, Captain. Also, what have I done to end up here? Alfred Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. And restore the exposition! What was that? It's nothing. Sounded like a Carry big on. bird. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. 
I hate this lady. God. She's a kiss ass. Blessings of the eight divines upon For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over. Sheesh. As you wish. That was one belligerent ginger. Come on. I haven't got all morning. This guy's working really hard to get his head cut off. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? Oh! It was very polite of them to, like, leave a little, um, box right there to Leave catch his head. Justice. Death to the Stormcloaks! As fearless in death as he was in life. Some broke back mountain shit, Rayloff. Did you just call me the lizard? Fuck you! Here it is again. Y'all are a bunch of racist pieces of shit! I said, next prisoner! No, monitors. you didn't. You said the I lizard. I can read subtitles, you fucking bitch. I don't like you. Alright, He-Man. Cut my head off. Yeah, just lay me in this other guy's blood. And then use the same box to catch both of our heads. What in oblivion is that? I told you it's a big what bird. Ginormous bird. Right there. It's fucking huge. Tweet, tweet! Oh my god. It's all making sense now. I'm the lizard Mark Zuckerberg. That's... That's the C... That's Captain Twitter. That's Mr. Twitter. The giant bird himself. Holy shit, he's found me. <laughs> the story is writing itself now, guys. Could the legends be true? Legends don't burn down villages. Legends don't burn down villages. Man, this guy, like, he's a, he's a video game character, but I can definitely smell him. Alright, well, fuck you, pussies. I'm running up here to the meat. Oh! Woohoo! See ya! Oh, uh, suddenly you care about my life? Before, I was just some fucking lizard. This guy looks drunk off his ass. Now we're trusting him to guard a child. Are we sure that this guy is, this guy is okay to be left with a child? He does not look okay to be left with children. That guy definitely had to go door to door warning his neighbors that he had charges of a various sort. Anyway, we need to run away from Mr. Twitter, Captain Twitter. I think I'm just gonna keep calling him Captain Twitter because it sounds funnier. Hey, look, you're the blue guy and you're the red guy. He's the blue guy, and he's the red guy, and he's the blue guy, and I'm gonna follow the blue guy. Alright. I don't know why we're going with uh, the Stormcloak dude. I guess it just sort of makes more sense, because the Empire just tried to behead us. So, let's go with Mr. What's-his-name here? Rayloff? That's, I believe, his name. I think the other guy's name is Hadvar, or... Hadvor or well, Super Thor, or something like that. Guard, oh, how sad. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. That thing was a dragon, no doubt. Just like the children's stories and the legends. The harbingers of the end times. The big ass we birds. They're from Come Twitter. Here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. Thank you. Please do that. There you go. May as well take Gunyer's gear. He won't be needing it anymore. Yay, here's our hero, Marky Mark, Mark Zuckerberg, in the land of Skyrim. Alright, well, let's take <coughs> Gunyar's gear here. Uh, he's got an iron war axe, a bunch of random stormcloak armor. Uh, now he's naked. Great. Alright, so I remember how to do most of this stuff. And I, I almost just want to drop this shit. I think I will. And we'll go ahead and equip this. I'm going to see if Give the axe a few swings. Ah, I can't see remember it. if I have magic this early in the game or not. Let's see. I do. I got flames. Gate. Flame on, Rayloff. Hey, 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 hey. I should probably save this for, like, actual enemies, but... What are you doing? I do remember that you could beat the shit out of Rayloff and get some early game, like, hey, points. Careful. There you go. Haha. <laughs> One-handed increased. Thanks, Rayloff. Alright. 
the first enemies of the game. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Time for fire. Fire and oh jeez, wow, these guys are these guys are pissed. They're like this asshole is using his hand to light us on fire. Are you serious? Alright. I think this was the bitch that was being mean and racist at the beginning. Alright, well let's look. Hey look, I found the key. Aha. Uh -huh. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, Rayloff. I'm not done looting shit yet. Studded Imperial Armor, blah blah blah. I'm pretty sure some of this Imperial stuff is a little bit better than the um, Stormcloak stuff. Let's put some of this on. And we'll put that helmet on. Let's see what our hero looks like now. Mark Zuckerberg is ready for war with the fucking Germanic barbarians. He's ready to fight for the glory of Rome. It's not gonna work because Rome fell to the Germanic barbarian tribes, but <laughs> you know. Wow. Nice try, Captain Twitter. You'll never uh, you'll never take me alive. Stormcloak. I'm not a stormcloak. I'm wearing imperial armor. You dumb dipshit. I didn't know that the Imperial commissioned blind soldiers. Mm hmm. Whatever. I kill indiscriminately. Let's take your stuff. Uh, these guys don't have anything that I want. Like I, I could just take like a lot of this shit and then just hoard it so I can sell it when I finish the tutorial. Potions, huh? I'll be taking those. Thanks for the advice, Ray Loof. Ray Lo I don't know why the fuck I just called him Ray Loof. That made no sense. Um, anyway, I believe down here we've got torturers and a, a magician. Oh yeah, this guy's got magic up his sleeve. I have magic too, you stinker. Wow, this guy's like kind of tanky. You know, you know, no matter. It's a simple matter. I'll just do this. There we go. go eat a big old penis. No, I haven't seen him since the dragon showed up. Wait a second. Looks like there's something in this. Ah, it's locked. Ooh, free lock picks. So Thanks, buddy. Picks. Ooh, I more free lock picks. Together. Book of the Dragonborn. I don't feel like reading that. Sometimes books in this game will give you level ups, though. And I will open up these doors real fast just to get the lockpick skill. Even though there isn't really much of anything that I want in any of these. Actually, I could use those mage robes, so we'll get some valuable loot out of this one if I didn't suck so much dick at lockpicking. Da da da! Alright, Novice Hood increases your magicka by 30 points. And the robes, which uh, Magicka regenerates faster. I will take everything. Haha, <laughs> he's naked. And we get a spell tome. Which I will probably have to use before I forget. Do do do! Sparks! And. I'm gonna go ahead and equip this mace. And there was something the fuck else that I wanted to do. Oh yeah, I need to equip the uh, the robes and stuff so that I get more magic and shit. Uh, what do I want? I, I don't really want to wear both of these. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just see what happens. If I end up being like too weak and ill armored, I can just go back and fix it at some point. Whatever. Is there any loot in any of these? There's like something in there, like a gold bag or something. I'll grab it. I'm a patient adventurer who likes to go in and loot skeletons and take their bone meal. Sure. Fucking bone meal, man. Can't live without it. Oh shit, what we got here? Stormcloak soldier! Skeleton man with money on him. That makes no sense, but sure. I'll take money where I can get it. How's it going, people? Oh shit. I'm on your side! Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, I guess you are. Where's Rayloff? I can wail on him with impunity. Where the fuck is Rayloff? 
I can just smack him around and no one gives a shit. I get free fucking XP for my skills. I could use that to obtain early level ups. Uh oh. Bad guys. We're not waiting to be killed by no dragon. Oh, I'm, I'm detected! I'm detected! It's too late! It's too late! Goodbye. I really don't care if these storm cloaks live or not. I'm gonna kind of get my ass in here and start fighting. The fuck? Damn, that guy was... Oh. That was weird. He was in the middle of an animation, it would seem. Ugh. Is that an oil slick? Yeah, take that! Burn, faggots! Wow, that idiot just ran right into my fire. You deserve every... You deserve that. You deserve that. That guy... Wow, what an uncomfortable way to die. He died like, Why, God? Why? How could you do this to me? Whatever, I got his bow, so... Now we have a bow. Bows are... Handy dandy, and I should probably put that on favorites. So I can switch to it. Nice and quick. Go ahead and do some favoriting real fast. Put some. Did I put this on favorite? No, I didn't. Put these on favorites. Take this for a whirl real fast. Sorry, Rayloff. Sorry, Rayloff. Sorry. Sorry. I just need to get that increase. I need to get those increases, bro. I need to get the increase. Uh, as soon as I see destruction go up, I'll stop. <clears throat> All right. We need to make our escape before Twitter completely capsizes this entire joint. What the hell's over here? What the fuck is this shit? Ooh, free loot. Cash money. More money. <coughs> More throat clearing and a potion. And... Anything over here? Uh, I, I guess not. Doesn't look like it. I found a little secret area in the tutorial, but it didn't really, didn't really yield much fruit. Really much anything over here. Shut up, Rayloff! I'm, I'm exploring, you stupid jerk. You and your sense of urgency. I'm not afraid of of the Twitter bird, bro. That doesn't go anywhere. The Twitter bird can literally fly his ass in here right now and come talk to me if that's what he wants. Uh, those are giant spiders. Let's go in with the bow, shall we? Dun, da, da. It looks like they're sleeping. Yeah, they're like definitely sleeping or some shit. That one woke up. Cause he's like, my comrade is dead. Alright, let's go ahead and switch on back to our... Wow, holy shit! Is it just me or are these spiders weak as fuck to electricity? Apparently more of them somewhere. Where are the other spiders at? I can hear them, and I can see the dots. They must be yeah. glitched into the ground. Ow. What the fuck? I just took random damage from stepping on something. That was weird, alright. Spiders exterminated. I think. Um... Let's get our asses moving in. I'm gonna take that coin purse. And I believe there's a bear over there. Kind of looks like a rock. There's a bear just ahead. It's a bear. I'd rather not a tank bear. Let's try to hey, there's the signature Dragonborn helmet from the trailer. And watch where you step. Nice and slow, huh? All right. He gave me another bow. Now I have like three bows. Might take her by surprise. Go ahead. I'll follow your lead and watch your back. Yeah, I just got to level up during the tutorial, baby. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Alright, I can just like get real close to this bear. Real close. And just stick my mace up its ass. Okay, Rayloff. Yeah, well, let's just, let's just do that. Kill it in one hit and ruin all my glory. I hate you. I hate you, Obi-Wan. Ah. Getting points, bro. Sorry, it's not my fault the game has this built-in tutorial exploit. That I'm I'm gonna use every fucking time. We made it. We got to the escape. Now we finally get to free roam Skyrim. 
the way a real man does. Wait. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. It's still such a gorgeous game. Goodbye, Twitter. Captain Twitter. See you in hell. Mark Zuckerberg always wins. There he goes. Looks like he's gone for good this time. Yes. No way to know if anyone else made it out alive. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. We better clear out of here. All right then. My sister, Gerder, runs the mill in Riverwood. Gerder. <laughs> Your sister's <laughs> name is Gerder. I wouldn't have made it without your help. <laughs> your parents just went outside and looked at the side of a house and they were like, "Oh yeah, you know what? Gerder. <laughs> that's our daughter's name. Oh dude, you know, that sucks. You should go to Windhelm and join the fight to free Skyrim. Maybe. All right. Well, let's do some exploring real fast now that we're like free from the chains of the tutorial, which isn't a very long tutorial anyway. Like I don't know if you've ever played Fallout 3, but my god, dude, that when you're when you're like doing that Vault 101 story intro slash tutorial, it's legit like a half hour long. Fallout, that's the one thing that makes Fallout 3, like, hard to, to just replay the shit out of, is the fact that you got to deal with that vault tutorial, unless you're on PC and you use, um, you use mods. But if you're on console, you are, you are stuck in that vault for a while. It's, it's kind of shitty. But it is what it is. Oh boy, look at how beautiful this game still is. And the mod that I'm playing with isn't a, really a particularly, like, strong mod, it just sort of uh, increases some of the textures and brightnesses and whatnot. Makes the game look a little bit better. Uh, anyway, here's the Guardian Stones. I remember this. I think you can sort of like choose which skill set you want to level up more quickly. These are the Guardian Stones. Are you trying to steal my fucking story? Dot Skyrim's landscape. Why don't you get out of here? Go ahead. See for yourself. Why don't you go? Why don't you get out of here? Get the fuck out of here. Go to Riverwood or wherever the fuck you're going. You don't gotta go home, but you can't stay here. I'm telling the story, okay? He's probably gonna tell it better than me anyway. But anyway, I'm pretty sure you can pick one of these, and there are actually more of these out around the map. But these initial three are just sort of like, um, those under the sign of the Thief Stone will learn stealth skills 20% faster. So that's the Thief Stone. Um, the Mage Stone is like, um, you learn magic skills 20% faster. And the Warrior Stone is obviously like you learn fucking, you know, sword and shield shit 20% faster. So which of these am I going to go with? Uh, I'm going to go with the Mage Stone. I'm gonna go with the mage stone. I kinda wanna do mage, some magic eh? stuff. Well, to each his own. What are you it's doing watching me pick my shit? What are you doing watching me? It's like it's like another man watching you go to the bathroom. Like, get the fuck out of here. Alright. Well, I need a break from Rayloff, so we're going this way. We're going this way. I'm tired of walking with him. He's he's starting to like fall in love with me, and I don't I don't approve. Ember Shard Mine. I think I vaguely remember this place, too. To get lost. Hello? Ah, what the fuck? It's Evil Rayloff. Holy shit. It's Evil Rayloff. We need to shock him. Ugh. We need to shock him and beat his ass. Ooh, he's got a steel mace. I'll take that. Thanks, brother. Steel mace looks a little bit cooler, too. I only really care about the damage, but, you know. Should I, should I keep using sparks? Why not? Sparks never hurt anybody. Oh, oh yeah, I need to use this level up, too. <clears throat> I still have this level up that I'm, like, just sitting on. Coolio. Leveling up. When your level increases, you must choose to increase your health, magicka, or stamina. You can also select a new perk. You all know how this works. I'm sure there's a few of you out there who haven't played Skyrim before, but I think the vast majority of people out there probably have. So what should we increase? Uh, magic, health, or stamina? Uh, you really can't go wrong with any of these early on. Uh, I, also, I really like to increase stamina early on because I like to sprint. And your stamina regeneration is like really super slow. 
Uh, I think I'm just going to go with some health for now, though. Make myself a little bit beefier so I don't die super quick. As for the perk, I don't know what I want. Let's go check out, like, destruction here. Let's see. Uh, cast novice level destruction spells for half magicka. Works for me. <clears throat> the first perk should be sort of inconsequential for me anyway. Alright. I think there's a trap in here somewhere, isn't there? Yeah. Got that bad boy just like spills rocks on you. <laughs> Not a terrible idea for a trap. I mean, shit. I should like use the bow and try and fuck these guys up. Don't forget the rock trap. So, stop your worrying and get some rest. Stop your worrying and take a headshot. Someone that headshot there? didn't do much. Uh, uh, I forgot how bad I am at aiming in this game. Oh my god. All right, hold on, gentlemen. Oh shit! I don't have the steel mace on favorites. I'm a monster. There we go. Pull my my old stuff out here. You both get fucking electrocuted. It's all good. It's all good. Why do these guys keep dying in like the most horrifying... Like, look at that! What the fuck? That's awful. That is just awful. Just crotch up. Crotch to the sky. Head to the ground like an ostrich. Wow, dude. Fuck that. Uh, Is there anything to find underwater here? I am playing as an Argonian, and I think one of the perks to being an Argonian, aka Mark Zuckerberg, is that you can breathe underwater and you don't have to worry about drowning. Which is... I guess one of those things, it's, it's as useful as you choose to make it. I guess. Am I going the right way here? Yeah, alright. Getting a little bit confused. What is, uh... Oh, a tattered journal. I'll read this. Um, they've had me working down here for days now. It's not that it's getting to me, though. It's these tunnels. I've told them countless times now to add extra supports to the weak sections of the tunnel. If only uh, we had more of those wooden beams that we reinforced with bronze bottoms. Honestly, if I hear the earth with shift one more time above my head, I'll be so stressed I may stop drinking for good. I mean, what's a Nord without his mead? Apparently this guy was drunk and he got crushed by some shit and his journal was right there and he knew he was going to get crushed. What a good story. Fantastic. Okie dokie then. Uh, any more cool shit for me to take? Ooh, tomatoes! Those were some shitty looking tomatoes. Kind of look wrinkly. Whatever though. Bridge access for me. Uh oh. Two more bad guys. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, this guy's got a big old axe. He doesn't give a shit. Mace. Oh, God. See you later. See you later. What is that up there? Is that a coin purse? How do I get that? You uh, got it. Ooh, did you see me? That was some Super Mario 64 shit. You wish you could emulate my level of Skyrim platforming skill. Okay. Uh, oh, there's a person here. There's people everywhere. Ew, get out of my swamp. Boom, your Facebook account has been banned, bitch. Give me that key. Give me the key to the treasure room. Ooh, a spell. Ooh, clairvoyance. I think clairvoyance is, like, really good from what I remember. Clairvoyance. Yes. I think what this spell does is it essentially, like, gives you a Dead Space-style waypoint guide to wherever you need to go. Which is really good if you're an idiot like me and you tend to get lost in places like this. So, yeah, there's that. Iron Dagger of Fatigue does five points of stamina damage. I'll take all this garbage. Why not? I don't know if I'll take any of those. All right, then. On our merry way. Did I loot this dude? Yes. Uh... They're definitely, like... I hear somebody hammering away at a fucking anvil or something. There's a blacksmith dude down there. 
He is about to get arrowed. And... Wait, is that a chick? It's a sexy female blacksmith, maybe? I can't tell from here. Whatever. Get shot. Get shot. Twice. Oh, ooh. Die the way you lived. In the forge. That didn't make a whole lot of sense, but whatever. I'm gonna go in with my dual magic fucking superpowers here. See what I can find. It was a chick. Alright, now I don't have to feel weird about anything. Good. I was like, ooh, that mis mysterious blacksmith over there looks kind of sexy. Too bad I can't determine their gender. You know, I just think they look kind of thick from here. Look looking kind of like a snack. Good thing we, we get over there and it is, in fact, a, a chick. Good. Rest easy. I was gonna say, I know that there's more enemies in here. I'm not. I'm not this easy to fool Skyrim. There goes that guy. You're going down, laddie. You're no match for the force. Get out of here. All right. You have got. Oh, these guys got some like expensive jewelry for me to take. What do you got? Iron battle axe. I don't want that. It would be kind of nice to have like a two-handed weapon to fall back on, but. Pretty sure two-handed weapons are, are not necessarily going to be up my alley, being that I'm an Argonian. I mean, I could make it work if I wanted to, but I just don't really want to, is the thing. So yeah, that's where we're at there. And we've reached the exits. That was a fun little detour, I suppose. Twas a, a, nice, a nice time, I enjoyed myself. Killing bandits in a cave. It's always fun. Skyrim's got a lot of those kind of repetitive, just sort of like, explore an area, kill a bunch of shit inside, take the treasure type shit going on. You can do as much of it as you want, or as much of it as you don't want. It's, it's really up to you. But let's go to town, shall we? Let's go the fuck to Riverwood, which is right over here. Good old Riverwood, the starting town. It's like, I'm pretty sure Riverwood is technically not even really considered a town. It's just like a sawmill a that sort of turned into a town. What? What is it now, Mother? It was as big as the mountain and black as night. It, it flew right over the barrel. Dragons now, is it? It wasn't a dragon. It was a big if old you bird. you like this, everyone in town will think you're crazy. And big I've old bird. To do than listen to more of your fantasies. Yeah, hey, what a jerk. It was a dragon. That was your son? And he's being all mean to you? Nobody believes me, but I tell you. I believe I you. It just wasn't a dragon. It was the leader of Facebook Incorporated. Or not Facebook, damn it, Twitter. You I'm Facebook man. Someone that has seen faraway places and heard new stories. Uh yeah, I'm the CEO of Facebook. Truly? So maybe my mother isn't crazy after all. You had best tell the Jarl in Whiterun. He needs to know about this. Does he have an account? I mean, I can hook him up with some pretty cool Facebook shit, if he's a Jarl. Uh, you and Feindall both like the same girl? How do I already know this? He hasn't mentioned anything about this. Okay. Camilla Valerius knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. That elf is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. I've seen him sneaking over to the Riverwood trader to speak with him when I'm not around. He's wasting his time. Wasting his time. Uh, yeah, two people spending time together never blossoms into courtship. Yeah. Is that sarcasm? I've heard better wisecracks from Orgnar. Uh, I don't know who Orgnar is, point. buddy. Camilla letting Faith <coughs> visit her isn't a good thing for me. Here, let me give you a particularly venomous letter. Say it's from Fangle. That should get Camilla to stop inviting the elf over. Perhaps. Uh, is there somewhere I can buy fresh supplies? He's got a little bit of everything at the Riverwood Trader. Mm. If you need weapons or armor, see Alvor, the blacksmith. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to help this guy out or not. It depends on which NPC I run into first. Is that Feindall over here? If this is Feindall, I'm just going to be like, hey, bro, what up? Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. For a Nord village. Yeah, alright, so guess what, you evil looking weirdo? Sven wanted me to deliver this letter. Um, everything on it is probably true, given that you look like one of Satan's accomplices, but, what yeah. Blow hard up to now? Probably so, blowing some hard cocks. Turn Camilla against me. Two can play at this. Here, 
Give this letter to Camilla and tell her it's from Sven. You guys both just have decoy letters to ready to back. sabotage each other's love affairs. You guys are fucking pathetic. Whatever. Farewell. Cool. Alright, well, I might deliver the letter. I might not. Man, I wonder what happens if I go talk to Sven again and I'm like, hey, bro. So I told that guy, sort of spilled the beans, and he gave me this. That'd be so funny, dude. Alright. Let's go talk to uh, our our Nord friend who was like, Yes, meet me in the Riverwood so you can meet my sister, Gerder. <laughs> What's going on? Her name's fucking Gerder. Pretty well done in. Uh. I can't remember when I last slept. <laughs> is this Gerder? What the fuck, dude? She's hot. Why is her name Gerder? I'm gonna sit on this stump with him. Like they knew exactly where we'd be. That was uh, two days ago now. We stopped in Helgen this morning, and I thought it was all over. Had us lined up to the headsman's block and ready to start chopping. The cowards! They wouldn't dare give Ulfric a fair trial. Treason for fighting for your own people. All of Skyrim would have seen the truth then. But then, out of nowhere, a dragon attack. You don't mean a real, live... I can hardly believe it myself. And I was there. As strange as it sounds, we'd be dead if not for that dragon. In the confusion, we managed to slip away. Yeah, I guess in a sense we owe we Captain Twitter our lives. Nobody else has come up the south road today, as far as I know. Good. Maybe we can lay up for a while. I hate to put your family in danger, Gerda. But... Nonsense. You and your friend are welcome to stay here as long as you need to. Let me worry about the Imperials. Any friend of Raylov's is a friend of mine. Thank Here's you, Girder. Stay as long as you like. If there is anything else you need, just let me know. All right. Oh yeah, I forgot. She's like, oh yeah, you can just have access to all of these items. So we can literally just take all this shit. We can just take all of it. It's not stealing. You just have it. Have all of it. I don't know why she's giving me jewelry. Like, that's going to be helpful. On my... I, I understand the food, but the the, the, the rings? Uh, yeah, thanks. I'll be there taking that to a pawn shop. For all of us here. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. No! We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Okay. I can definitely I knew do that. We could count on you. I ought to get back to work before I missed, but did anyone else escape? Did Ulfric? Ulfric! Don't worry. I'm sure he made it out. It'll take more than a dragon to stop Ulfric's storm cloak. I'll let them into the house and, you know, show them where everything is. Hmm. Help them drink up our mead, you mean? Good luck, brother. I'll see you later. Don't worry about me. I know how to lay low. Okay, so poor Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get some some fucking white run police over here to guard the place from dragons, even though that's probably not gonna end up being super useful realistically. I need to sell some shit, so we're gonna run into the Riverwood trader real fast and do that. And then has to do something. Ooh. I said no! No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. Careful with that. Careful with what? You don't care about your cheese. Fuck you. All right, well, do you have a quest for me? Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a general store. Give me a fun medieval style quest. Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break in b -b 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 break is the b -b 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 break in only after one thing <laughs> an ornament solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw i could help you get the claw back you could i've got some coin coming in from my last shipment it's yours if you bring my claw back now, sounds like a plan you stan you should head to bleak falls barrow so northeast of town plan. yes so now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, Fuck. really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. No, I don't. I've got a quest no, I... marker. 
by the eight, fine, but only to the edge of town. Are you her brother or her dad? Like, come on, bro. Are you such a fucking buzzkill, dude? Like, jeez, fucking. You, like, are you serious here? Alright, so... I guess we'll walk and talk with this woman. This weird-looking woman. We have to go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. Sounds like a plan. You can see it from here, though. The mountain just over the buildings. Uh-huh. Also, I... Did, did she just point at the wrong mountain? I think she did. You're stupid. Also, Those your face disturbs me. Hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Sounds like an adventure. God, you walk slow. Did she just stop for that chicken? Did she just stop so that chicken could cross the street? I'm leaving. I'm out of here. I'm leaving. I should probably tell her about the uh, the weird shit going on with those two dudes. This way. Uh, who do I want to side with, Sven or Feynall? Mm. Mm. Oh. Eh, let's side with um. Let's side with Feynall, I guess. Hole in my bed. He does know how to make a girl blush. Yes, he What's does. This? If that oaf thinks all I'm going to do is stay in that filthy house of his and clean, I'll... You can tell Sven that he already has a mother. I'm not speaking to him anymore. Ooh, Sven, get roasted. Now we gotta go talk to Feindal, who's probably in this general area. I think this is where I last sort of spotted him. Like, kind of over here, right? I know he works at the mill. He works at the sawmill, but where... Can I find the boy? Feindal! Feindal! Where are you? I completed your weird little romance mission. Whoever the fuck you are. Oh yeah, I forgot to sell stuff too. I need to go back in here and sell shit. I just went on a stupid useless adventure with a chatty woman. Alright. The sooner you find the claw... Ooh, do you sell spells? I think I have a few old spell books laying about. If you want more, you'll have to go to the College of Winterhold. Okay. Butter. What kind of books have you got here? I've already got Clairvoyance. Uh, Frostbite is pretty decent from what I can remember. I don't know if I really want it, though. Oak Flesh is pretty good because it gives you, like, armor. Like, magical armor. Raised Zombie is kind of eh. I'm definitely going to hone in on Destruction, I think. Alright, let's sell this dagger, let's sell that mace, let's sell the axe, let's sell these swords, let's sell two of these bows, let's get rid of this, and this, and, uh, uh let's get rid of that, the, unfortunately the, the cool dragonborn helmet needs to go, hate to say it, just does, the necklace, the ring, stormcloak stuff, Random Imperial stuff. This stuff can go... Pretty much anything that I'm not using. But I might want to have some armor as like a backup. Just in case some shit goes down. Alright. Amethyst, Bear Pelt, Garnets, Garnet, however you pronounce that word. Sorry, I'm stupid pills. Alright then. Alright then. Wow, holy shit, we said the exact same... Wow, hey! Beginning to like this guy. Hmm. What are you doing that for? Ah, I'm beginning to hate this guy. He's questioning my moves. I'm just trying to play with your merchandise, man. How am I supposed to know if I want to buy the sword if I can't pick it up and feel it, you know? This chick is still waiting with her best friend, the chicken, here. Her and this chicken are actually, like, really hitting it off. Alright. So, I'm just going to continue walking to Bleak Falls Barrow while you continue being fucking weird and broken with your AI and shit. 